Today we're going to discuss the various character models that were teased in yesterday's preview. It seems we have sisters, Admech, Drukhari, Death Guard and Orcs. Hello and welcome back to Warspets Tactics, where we've been following along with the news and releases out of 9th edition. Obviously, yesterday the main news were the new codexes for Necrons and Space Marines, that new Gladiator tank, and a proper look at the Necron Monolith. At the end of their stream, however, Games Workshop did do a short reveal video that hinted at what looks like five different character models for various factions that are neither Necrons or Space Marines. I'll put a link to the original video down in the video description below. Today I just thought we'd talk briefly about each one and what it looks like we might be having for that particular miniature. First of all, there's only one miniature that's been entirely unveiled in full, and it's this new Palatine for Sisters of Battle. Supposedly she's a sub-commander who works below a cannoness, and sounds to me very much the equivalent of a lieutenant working below captains in a space marine battle company. She appears to be armed with a plasma pistol and what looks like a sheathed power sword on her left hip. I think she's carrying some sort of imperial rosary beads there, which I kind of wonder if that'll have any significance, like the Judiciar with his massive hourglass, which we now know slows down enemies and allows them to fight last in combat. I think the miniatures are very lovely sculpt, in line with the rest of the Sisters of Battle Codex, Though honestly it's not the most ostentatious thing ever, I think if you did want to convert one of these from the regular Sisters of Battle kit, you wouldn't have too much trouble. So potentially quite a cheap thing to add into your army if she does wind up being worth it rules-wise. I strongly suspect she's going to have some sort of buff to Mass Sororitas Infantry, although what that could be we really have no idea yet. They seem to be getting a little bit more creative with their subcommander type rules. We've seen with the recent release of that Royal Warden for the Necrons, where his main ability is allowing them to fall back and shoot, which is weirdly specific, but also really quite useful for the Necron army. She could potentially have this, or reroll ones to wound like a Space Marine Lieutenant. At the moment, it really is anyone's guess. We've got no news as to when this is coming out yet. I'm sure that they'll be releasing the various codexes in 9th edition fairly steadily. I wonder if the sisters might be getting an update sometime within the year. Another update will be fun, but it would make their codex that came out in January really quite short-lived. Next up, we have what looks like a Dark Eldar warrior of some sort. The blade in the bounding pose very much looks like she's leaping forward and is some sort of witch character. Now we have already seen that dagger before in one of the rumour engine pictures that Games Workshop sometimes puts up on their website. And another recent rumour engine was this hair with the barbed hooks in it, which is kind of specific for Lilith Hesperax, the main Dark Eldar witch character who's very good at killing characters in close combat. She does have a fine cast model at the moment, so I wouldn't be too surprised to see her updated to a new plastic. If it is indeed her though, then they've gone for a bit of a different route with the model. For one, she does seem to be wearing considerably more clothes in this model. Next up, we have an Admet character. One that we can't really see all that much of, besides a nice flowing robe, some very fancy bionic legs, and some sort of command rod in his left hand. And to me, it looks like they're going down a lot more this Guitari type approach, or perhaps similar to the Electro Priests. And it doesn't look obviously like it's some sort of new tech priest. People on the internet seem to reckon it could be some sort of new Skitari Primus or perhaps another name for a foot commander for this Skitari, which is kind of weird that they haven't had it up to now. I think they justified it in the past by saying that they tend to be commanded by tech priests behind the battle lines, but I think that might have just been partly an excuse to explain why they didn't have any sort of individual commander model yet. In any case, I'm sure this guy will have some sort of synergy with leading your rangers and vanguard forward. Next up, we have an orc character of some sort. I know it doesn't necessarily have to be a character, but to me it very much looks like these might be the themes of the releases. They really are looking quite detailed, and they're looking like quite a lot of thought has gone into them. From the main two pictures on the bottom left and bottom right, it looks like this guy's armed with a slugger and chopper, and it looks like he could be either leaping forward or taking a step forward on his right foot. I'm really honestly not too sure what this guy is. I want to say by the bright primary colours used on his clothes, he might be a snake bite orc, or that might be potentially being led by the armour plate type things on his left shoulder pad, which looks like it could be part of a squig, or maybe that is an attack squig perched on his shoulder. Whether or not it's part of the same miniature, or it's a different option on the miniature, but we have also seen this orky circular saw on a stick in a previous rumour engine, but if it is on the same model, then it does either have to be slung over his back, or an alternate option to arm him with instead of that chopper. This guy does seem to have both his hands full already. As for exactly what he is, are your guess is really as good as mine? Could be a reimagining of an orc war boss, could be a snake bite named character of some sort, for all I know, it could be a reimagining of the generic boys' kit. Certainly looking forward to more options for the greenskins in any case. Finally, we have one for the followers of Nurgle. We've got a guy in definite Death Guard armour, armed with some sort of horrible plague spewer type thing on his right hand, and a power fist with some dripping green venom on it on his left. 
you can just see the pincer claw and the drip of venom on the power fist on the top of the left picture here. Again, that one's from a previous rumor engine. I've seen a lot of people theorizing on exactly what this guy could be. Maybe a new version of a Lord of Contagion with multi-parts, or perhaps some sort of other minor support character. I saw some people saying Demon Prince, but to me, he looks like his arm is just a bit intact for that to be the case. In any case, nice to see another Death Guard release. They got quite a lot at the start of 8th edition, and they're very popular to collect because of that, but they haven't seen really all that much since. So there we have it, what looks like 5 models, no idea of time frame or release dates, maybe when the codex drops for 9th edition, maybe earlier than that. It's certainly nice to see some of the other races get some love as well, as well as just the Necrons and Space Marines, which have been dominating the release schedule recently. If you have any other thoughts on what any of these could be, or any insights that I might have missed, please let us know down in the comments below. I'm sure there's details here that I've not seen with my first pass. If you've enjoyed the video, then feel free to subscribe to Auspets Tactics, where we'll certainly be keeping on top of any news and development for 9th, as well as our regular tactics content. If you've enjoyed the video, I'd just like to mention that the channel does have a Patreon page, which is what allows me to keep these videos coming quite so regularly. As well as helping support the channel, channel patrons also get to see new videos early, there's regular votes to see what you'd like to see next on the channel, and you're also entered into the regular prize draw once a month, with chance to win some big kits, no matter where you are in the world. If any of that sounds good to you, or you'd just like to help support the channel, then the link is down in the video description below. In any case, a massive thank you for listening, and I'll hope to see you guys next time.